Hi guys, my name is Ravi and today we're going to look at the basics of how to create a quiz in Moodle. First thing you want to do is log into your Moodle account. And we're going to break this down into four steps. Step number one is creating the question bank. So in the, under the administration tab, you click on questions. At the top, we click on the categories tab. And we're going to create a new category for our quiz tutorial. Click on parent and this is simply a way for you to organize your quiz questions. I'm going to name the category quiz tutorial and then you can write some info for yourself later. Add category and you can see it shows up right over here. The next step is we want to create our questions for this. So we click on the questions tab at the top. For category we're going to use the drop down box to select the category we just made quiz tutorial. And you can see here, create new question. So for this purpose, we're just going to create two multiple choice questions. So we select the drop down menu, select multiple choice. And this brings us to the adding a multiple choice question website. Question name is just for you to refer back to. So I can say turtle life span. Question text, this is exactly what the student is going to see. What is the average lifespan of a of an American box turtle. Going down, we have a few more options to set. Default question grade, I'm going to leave as one. Penalty factor, I'm going to disable this later when we create the actual quiz activity. So this is not going to affect our quiz. And one or multiple answers. I only want one answer choice to be correct. Shuffle the choices. This is a good idea if you have um, students sitting next to each other in the computer lab, for example. And then we select our answer choices. For answer choice number one, I'm going to say 23 years. Answer choice number two, 88. Answer choice number three, 123. Answer choice number four, 146. And then we select which answer choice is correct, which in this case is 123. So with the grade drop down box, we select 100%. Okay. And then we scroll down, click Save Changes. And here we have our first question made. So let's repeat that and create a second question. Create new question again, multiple choice. Name your question, first dog in space. Question text, and this is what the student sees again. What is the name of the first dog to travel to space? We're going to have the same settings here. Default question, grade 1. Penalty factor, we're disabling later. And for the answer choices, answer choice number 1, we can say Sputnik. Answer choice number 2. Zilat. Answer choice number three, Leica. And since this is the correct answer choice, I'm going to select grade 100%. Answer choice number four, Bungra. Okay, then we scroll down all the way to the bottom, click Save Changes. And now we have two questions to add to our quiz. So let's move on to step number two. You can use the hierarchy at the top left here to go back to your home page. And we need to add a quiz activity. So first we need to turn editing on. And then under the topic you want to use, we click add an activity, quiz. For the quiz name, I'm just going to call it quiz tutorial. And here we can say a little, have a little blurb that the student will see before they take it. Good luck and have fun. Open and close the quiz. You can set when they're allowed to take the quiz. Time limit, we can enable and say we want it to be three minutes long. Time delay between first and second attempt. This, these two are not going to affect us because I'm just going to give one attempt to take the quiz. Display questions per page. Unlimited is fine. 
shuffle questions. In this case, the order of questions does not matter, so I can select shuffle the questions. Shuffle within questions, yes. Attempts allowed, this is what we want to change to one. I only want the students to have one chance to take the quiz, so we change this to one. And adaptive mode, this one you should watch out for. If it's selected to yes, that basically means the student can take a quiz multiple times or answer a question from the quiz multiple times rather. So I'm going to disable this to no, and that's where penalty factors can come in handy. Okay, so for for grades, um, the grading method, it's not going to matter because there's only one attempt. Apply penalties, no. And then over here, we can select whether we want the student to see the correct answers immediately after the after they take the attempt. And then down here, we have some extra options, which you probably don't need to worry about starting out. And at the bottom, we click Save and Return to Course. And you can see we've created our quiz tutorial activity. Step number three, we need to add questions to this quiz. So let's click on the quiz. And it brings us to this site, where the left side shows which questions are in our quiz. And the right side, we can see all of our question banks. So let's go to the category we created in step number one, quiz tutorial. And you can see our two questions here. You can either select them one by one or click select all and then add to quiz. And here you can see the two questions showed up in our quiz. And now we can move on to step number four, which is preview the quiz. So at the top tab over here, we can click preview. Or you can go back to your main home page and click on quiz tutorial. And now you see good luck and have fun. Preview quiz now. The quiz has a time limit and is limited to one attempt, exactly how we set it. Click OK. And here we are in the quiz, time remaining, starting at three minutes. What is the name of the first doc to travel to space? I'm going to go with Laika. What is the average lifespan of an American box turtle? I'm going to go with 123 years. Submit all and finish. You're about to close this attempt. OK. And here we have it, grade 10 out of 10. Bloody fantastic, isn't it? <laughs>